Hi beauties and curls so welcome back for another video. Today's video is a review of the Fenty Face. Yes we're going to talk about dupes. We're going to talk about my thoughts about the brand. We're going to do an in-depth video on the foundation and what my thoughts are on other items in the collection. I do have a couple of dupes in this video as well. So don't forget to check out the description box if you wanna know some dupes. And yeah, I wanted to do a video a little bit different. I've been seeing a ton of first impressions here on YouTube and I just wanted to do a little bit different. You know, you don't you wanna see something different sometimes? Yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to hear what I have to say about the Fenty launch and the products then keep watching started of course this is going to be a lengthy video I'm just going to let you know right up so get your soda get your pop I'm from down south so get your chicken okay if you are vegan get your sweet potato fries I wanted to do an in-depth review because those are the type of videos that I look for no shade on first impressions I like I looked at a lot of first impressions but Initially, if I want to buy a product and let's just be honest, everybody does not have a lot of money to dish out for these products. So I wanted to give an in-depth so you can make a definitive answer, get a definitive answer from me and make a definitive decision for you and if you want to pick these up or not. But I really feel like it was a wise decision to come out with complexion products first, especially just, okay, she just showed a lot of brands how to do a initial launch like crazy now I, know I also heard people saying there was enough shades or whatever hold up the girl came out with 40 shades 40 shades initial launch hello I mean you're not going to get everything that you want so you know they're going to be people that are going to be negative but kudos to you Rihanna Riri for coming out for 40 shades I have tried this out with powders I've tried it out with my primers I have tried it out with throughout a couple of days because I did get this at the initial launch the night that it launched but number one I got the wrong shade which is something we're going to talk about and also I wanted to do some wear tests throughout the days just not a 24 hour test which I still did but I wanted to try it out with some primers with some powders and found out the best way to use this foundation so let's just jump right in I tend to like hydration radiance primers I like to test smoothing primers and so those are the type of primers that one felt more like a smoothing or it looked like more, it was more like a smoothing it really didn't appeal me I did not test it so I can't tell you anything about it and I don't want to say anything bad about it because I didn't try it but I felt like I would do good by the foundation on its own so in this video I am going to show you when I went into the store I did test on my wrist and on my chest I uh, I tested three shades on my chest and I tested four to five shades I believe on my wrist and I'm one of those that once I see a product and it uh, dries down I can tell you what my shade is and in terms of the foundation I highly 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 recommend you going into the store I bought the shade based upon the description in the uh, on the Sephora website I picked 360 that was way too dark for me not way too dark but um, whatever shade you think you are I would say go two shades lower now I hope you have a Sephora close to you if you don't find somebody here on YouTube that's maybe similar now when I saw Rihanna's pictures I already knew that we were going to be close in shade she wears 330 when I went on the uh, when I went into the store I tried 330 I tried some other shades higher and lower and 330 was still my perfect match I'm going to show you application with the sponge and the brush in this video the reason why I wanted to do an in-depth is because that's what I prefer looking at I tested it with powders I tested it with primers I tested it with um, moisturizers and that's just something that I do anyway to see if I really like a foundation now the reason why I'm wearing 
I'll, I'll get to that. I, I wanted it to be a surprise, but in day one and two, I actually show you that I am wearing the foundation. First of all, I got so many compliments of my complexion and you guys didn't even know what I was wearing, but y'all was like, your makeup looks really good. And I'm going to tell you, complexion products are everything. Now, the foundation is a soft matte long wear foundation. It is a pro filter, it says, and this is the packaging. I really like the packaging. To me, this is reminiscent of Kat Von D for some reason on the outside. To me, that's it just that's what it reminds me of. But on the inside, so this is white. The handle is white. It is a frosted glass bottle and with the white top. Now, I don't particularly like this packaging. Honestly, I wish she would have kept the packaging that's on the outside and put it on the inside. Even if she had this frosted bottle to put this as black, I feel like white just totally brings a lot of attention to how messy this is going to get. And I really appreciate that she did put it in a pump. Now this does contain 1.08 fluid ounces. So you're getting more than the typical ounce which is one ounce and this retail i think i got this for 34 dollars uh, i think this was 40 34 dollars i'm gonna put all the specs on the screen so you can see it but i feel like for this to be considered a high end it is still a reasonable price for a foundation that's the other thing because i have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and that retails for 62 I think they went up in price. I think it's now 64 I know the Power Foundation, Power Fabric is 64 So for this to be only $34, I feel like that that was a really good uh, sell for this. I feel like that's one of the reasons why women of color went crazy for this is because it was the price and the shade range. Those are two things that I feel like was optimal in this launch for Rihanna. So I really do enjoy this. The packaging I'm not a fan of, but what's inside? Lord have mercy. I love this foundation. I will let you know this right now. Now in day one, if you notice, I, I use I wore the foundation for about seven hours and it started to break around, uh, break up around my nose but a lot of foundations that are of that soft matte to satin uh, where it dries down and my oils come through I don't have that problem with a dewy foundation because it's just dewy all over and you really can't tell the difference of my oils breaking through but with soft matte and with a satin to soft matte to matte I have that problem so I've been using the Becca if you notice in day two I show my nose and it did not budge I love this I really do enjoy this and it made my nose flawless it made my my face was flawless y'all didn't even know what I was wearing the other day and I was wearing this now, I want to tell you so I want to tell you that a close dupe to this and it's very comparable is the NARS Weightless Luminous. Now I have this in a project pan currently. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I love the finish. Both of them to me have like that soft matte that is still like light skin luminous, especially with a beauty blender. These are buildable. These are medium, good medium to full coverage. I really like I really would say that these are a good medium. I highly recommend this being a medium on you. If you go to full coverage, both of these can get cakey on you. Um, I have to use beauty blenders with both of these because I notice with a brush, they settle into my fine lines and they just sit there, okay? I could put a primer on in my fine lines, but I have learned both of these perform better when, and they both have that liquidy, serum-y, type of finish let me I'll push put a pump and both of these say that you need to you need to shake well now you can see the difference okay you can see the difference in the shade as you can tell in the application when you see me do the initial application of the Fenty when you see me put this on it does even when it dries down it does it stays the same color now when this dries down it goes darker so that's the reason why I highly recommend you going in to Sephora and trying this okay so moving on 
The next thing that I tried, I did try the blotting powder and I was so, so tempted. But y'all know, like we are doing Saving 10K. I wanted to see what was what else was in my collection and I found a dupe for you guys. It is not a price dupe. This is just if you have it in your collection, you're probably not going to need the blotting powder. And if you don't have this and you have the blotting powder, you don't need the product that I'm going to talk about vice versa. I hope that makes sense. But this is the Makeup Forever. This is the Ultra HD Micro Finishing Press Powder in its press form. Now, I, you're going to see me swatch both of these in the store. Both the texture is the same and both of them are invisible. This did really well with blotting. This is great. I talked about this in a favorites video. This is also great under under the eye and all over the face which that blotting powder is great as well i tried the matchsticks in the color medium i absolutely love those matchsticks i do i love them and i'm going to pick them up but i also have some contour sticks some sticks by iman that i'm actually testing right now so i did not want to pick those up and i really made a decision i was like you know what I'll go with the foundation and I'll get the gloss but the highlighters I did not need although those are so gorgeous and if I decide later I might pick uh, a couple up I love Hustler Baby and Mean Money that was one of my favorite I also loved was it Moscow Mule it's the deepest shade but I felt like that would be a great blush but I'm not in need of blushes so I love the highlighters a whole lot Trophy Wife, I would use realistically as an eyeshadow. I don't go for a high beam, but I also have a couple of dupes for the Trophy Wife if you have those items. And I also have a dupe for the gloss. I saw this and I was like, this is Trophy Wife in pigment form. This is from, actually this was from M Cosmetics when uh, Michelle Fawn, her initial launch with M Cosmetics. This is in the shade Gold Divine. If you have this shade, Trophy Wife in pigment form, y'all, I'm good with dupes. Y'all know I have dupes videos. I will list them over there. It's not in the same form of it. But that's Trophy Wife, y'all. If you have Gold Divine from the initial launch that Michelle Fawn did, or if you have Goldilocks by Sugar Peel, those are both press, uh, those are both loose pigment. This is a sparkling shadow top coat. This is Trophy Wife. I don't need to get Trophy Wife, y'all. If I wanted to do that, I could totally do it with this. It, you know, this, like I said, this one, it's the same thing. So, yeah. That's the same thing. It's the same thing. Especially I swatched it. Same thing. So the other item that I got was the Fenty Glow. This is the Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. Y'all, I love this gloss. I'm wearing it today. I've gotten some compliments on day two. I wore it by itself. And y'all, as soon as I put this on, I absolutely knew that this was a dupe to my favorite lip gloss. I don't have that one right now. I did post a picture uh, on Instagram. Now, mirrored, and I'll show you a do. Uh, I'll show you side by side how they look in this video. In the video, um, this is a lot more wet than the mirrored by Dior. My favorite lip glosses from Dior and that is Ever Dior and Mirrored. This is a dupe to Mirrored. The difference is Dior, Dior's Mirrored is a, has a lot more, uh, it has a lot more glitter in it. It's very glittery. This one is a lot more wet. So when you put them on, they look the same. Okay. This has a little bit of gloss. And like I said, I'm going to show you swatches in this video, but if you have Dior's mirrored, you don't need Fenty. You don't need the Fenty glow, but I will say the Fenty glow is a fraction of the price. It's like basically half mirrored is $30. This is 18. I would pick this up. You're not missing anything. If you get the gloss bomb and not mirrored, Although I really love that, but now that I have this, I'm not going to get that anymore. 
you know, I'm not going to get the Dior mirrored. So yeah, I'm really happy. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Chi from ColourPop and then Fenty Glow on top today. I will link everything that I have on my face down below. I don't have on, I wanted to show you this. I actually have on All Day Weightness Luminous today. And on day two and three, I was wearing Fenty Glow. I was wearing Fenty Glow. I was wearing the Fenty Foundation. But I wanted to show you guys that the complexion that I get is pretty much the same. It's just that Fenty, I actually like and it performs a lot better. And it is cheaper as well. I think it's, you'll save about $10 to $15 getting that versus the all day weightless luminous i think this is in the 40 dollar range so yeah and hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i will see you in the next video